and the side of my trailer, making sure there's no major damage, no bulges, no holes, no major damage, okay? Front and side. And, all, and none of my rivets are missing. These are rivets. Okay. <coughs> all of my rivets are in place, okay? <coughs> oh boy. And then we have clearance lights up top. Okay. Okay. We got to make sure that our clearance lights, um, they're amber in color, not cracked or broke, properly mounted, secured, and they should be in good working condition. Okay. Then we'll make sure that we have uh, DOT reflective tape that runs all the way down the side of our trailer. Okay. Okay. Then we're working our way down. Okay, we already went over the landing gear, right? Yes. Okay, we already went over the landing gear. Yeah. Then right here we have, we uh, have a marker, marker light. light. Okay, okay. marker light. Amber in color, not cracked or broke, properly mounted secure. It also serves as a oh, turn signal and a four-way flashlight. Flash. Okay. And then underneath the trailer, we have um, their cross members or ribs. Where they at? All these, all these little things are called cross members or ribs. Um, they're not bent, cracked, or broken. They're properly mounted, secured. We'll check the floorboards to our trailer, okay. making sure they're in good condition. There's no major damage, no major holes. Okay. okay. And then moving our way back. Okay. So now here we go. We have, we've got all the same component. We've got. Suspension, brakes, tires, rims, lug nuts, and all this stuff, right? Yes. Okay. So I'll go ahead and start off with my suspension. Okay. okay. And then our suspension, let me see what we got back here. I don't like this truck, but okay. So our suspension, um, our spring mount here. Spring mount. Okay. It's now welded instead of bolted. Okay. Okay. And the rest of it is not bent, cracked, or broken. It's properly mounted and secured. We have um, we have leaf springs back here. So we're going to check our leaf springs. You can see them down on the other side. Okay. Uh, we're going to check our leaf springs um, back here on the fourth and fifth axle the same way we did on the first axle. We also have U-bolts back here. Okay. So we're going to check our U-bolts uh, back here the same way we did on our first axle. And then we have a different, the dip, uh, uh, we have a torque rod and a torque arm. Oh, two, two different torques now. Yeah, torque, torque, rod, torque rod and torque and arm. Torque arm. So we'll make sure they're not bent, cracked, or broken. They're probably mild mm -hmm. secured. The torque arm is adjustable. The torque arm is adjustable. Okay, and then there's one more component, which is going to be our equalizer. equalizer. This one right in the middle is an equalizer, okay? So the equalizer, it's not bent, cracked, or broken. It's properly mounted and secured. Okay. So there should be five so components, that, right? that's the equalizer? Yes. The so sticking out of the... The one in the middle. Right, right there, equalizer. Yep. Okay. Yep, so we have, back here we have uh, leaf springs, U-bolts, spring mounts, equalizer, equalizer, and then the torque rod and torque, torque arm. Torque rod and torque arm. Okay. Six components. Yeah, six okay. components. Okay. So that was our suspension. Suspension. And then the brakes, we're going to check our brakes on the fourth and fifth axle the same way we did on the second and third axle. All seven components the brake hose, brake chamber, brake clamps, push rod, slack adjuster, brake drum, and brake lining. And there's absolutely no difference in the way we're going to check them. Okay. We're still allowed that same two inches of travel on the push rod, okay? Okay. And then our tires, we're going to check our tires back here on the fourth and fifth axle same using the ICD same method, method the same, same way we did on the second and third, and third axle. axle. And there's no difference in the tires neither. No I'm going to check my rim, lug nuts, nuts, studs, and my valve stem on the fourth and fifth axle the same, same way, way I did on my first, first axle. axle. And there's no difference there neither. Okay. 
we are back to a hub seal again back oh, okay. here. Okay. So you. we're going to check the hub Let's seal see. on our fourth and fifth oh, axle the same, same way we did on the first axle. First axle. Okay. okay. Then this is another marker light. Okay. This one's red in color, That's not secure. cracked or broke, properly mounted and secured. secured. This is the only marker light on the truck that doesn't blink or flash like a like a turn signal in four-way. Okay. So it's just a marker light. Just a marker light. It's just red in color, not cracked or broke, properly mounted secured. Okay. Then we have a, uh, another splash guard back here. Splash guard. So I'll check my splash guard on my fourth and fifth axle. Okay. The same way I did on the second and third. Okay. Okay. So it starts to get easier. Okay. Yeah, yeah. when you get to the very back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then you can either call those clearance or marker lights. Okay. Okay. My 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 clearance lights clearance light slash marker, marker lights. Light. They're red in color, color. not cracked or broke, properly mounted, secured. They should be in good working, working condition. condition. Then we have uh, we have our door hinges. Okay. Okay. We have our door hinges. Um, uh, we'll make sure there's no missing hardware. They're not bent, cracked or broke. They're properly mounted and secure. Yeah. And then we're gonna check the overall condition of our doors, making sure there's no major damage, no major holes. Um, our doors should open and close, close properly. properly. Um, we got our door handles. We'll make sure that they're not bent, cracked, or broke. They're properly mounted and, and secure. secure. They should be in good working condition. Okay. Then we have more tail lights back here. Remember, I was telling yes. you about tail lights. Yes. They're red in color, okay. not cracked or broke, properly mounted and secured. Secure. The outer one is our turn signal so, and the four-way flasher. Oh, the outer one. Yeah. Okay. And then the inner ones are our, our brake, brake lights. lights. Okay. Right. Then we have a DOT bumper. Okay. This one's bent, but it's not cracked or broken. It's properly mounted secured. We should always have DOT reflective tape on our bumper. Okay. okay. Our license plate, there's no missing hardware. It's properly mounted secured. Your license plate should always have a light and a lens cover on it. Right. Okay. So this one is missing. Busted. Yeah. <laughs> so I wouldn't drive this trailer at night. Uh, right. Okay. And then now we're done. So we just tell the examiner. We're gonna check the whole right side of our tractor and trailer the same way we did the left side. Left side. Okay. And this concludes my pre-trip. Yes, ma'am. Hey. Yes, ma'am.